morning. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Good morning. Thank you so much. And, uh, and I, I, it's a wonderful first time for me to be in your country. I enjoy it. I enjoy the people. I enjoy, enjoy the interaction. And it's really nice to see everybody here. So uh, life in, is movement, and movement is life. And I want to make sure that you understand we are not trying to have everybody do double bundle. But this is a principle. It's a concept that you can use for ACL reconstruction. I also like to welcome you to Pittsburgh. Uh, I've been there for almost 35 years now. Um, in fact, uh, I was trained by Professor Albert B. Ferguson, uh, who is a very good pediatric orthopedic surgeon and trained some of uh, your people in, in, in um, you know, working in Saudi Arabia. Now, the principle of ACL reconstruction, as, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, the, based on anatomy, insertion site, how to tension the graph, and lastly, it should be individualized. We have been doing one size fit all surgery for many years now. So you have to think different people have different size of ACL. Now this is a ACL of a fetus, only about 16 year, weeks old. And if you dissect the synovial map, you can see there's uh, two bundles. Uh, and of course, as it get older, the bundle merge together. And in fact, there's a septum between the AM and PL bundle. And this septum actually contains stem cells. Also, we have did some stem experiment on that with Dr. Hewitt. Uh, so this, um, you know, you know, really a true two bundle, you know, configuration. Now, as you go older, the, the two bundle merge together. This a uh, nice picture taken in Pittsburgh by Dr. Paul Galano from Spain. He is a very famous ph photographer. You can you can see there's a PL bundle and this AM bundle is well. Now you shut it off. Yeah, good. Uh, so, and, and I must tell you that if you want to improve, if you're doing a lot of ACL now or some, you must admit that maybe something is not right. Now, if you do not realize something is not right, then maybe it's all right. Or maybe it's a silent killer in some way, okay? So like I say, this is the anatomy. We discussed it already, and I say you can see. By the way, to dissect something as beautiful, it takes two to three hours to do this. It's not like five minutes, OK? So when, when people conclude there's no double bundle, when they look at it in total knee, they are wrong, because they did not take the time to dissect something like this, OK? It just takes time to do. And all this CAT scanner really confirm where the insertion site is. And like I say, at 90 degrees, you can see it's horizontal. And it's easy to put the drill hole right here. And you can see this is a double bundle or a single bundle position. 
And this is on the tibial side. There's a wide variety of uh, shape of the tibial insertion site too. But this is AM and PL insertion site. And this is the CAT scan, 3D CAT scan. By the way, the CAT scan is a really only true indication where you put a tunnel. X-ray and MI are okay. Now, in the next five years, MI probably will be good enough to tell you where you put a tunnel. You can guess, but this is really looking at your mirror where you put your A-cell. Now, I'll give you two examples. These are patients that come in from far away. I'm, I live in Pittsburgh. This patient comes from Chicago, and he has three surgery. He is a college-level basketball player. This is the third A-cell surgery, okay? And the doctor told him there's no impingement. The graph looks good, and you should be fine. And this is a gentleman, doctor, who actually is a professor at a major university. He done hundreds of A-cell a year, okay? So what's wrong? You look at this x-ray, you see this is really high, you know, high placement. This is only 8 degrees, so you know this is high. And this patient is very unstable, you can see, on examination. So after free surgery, still very unstable, shifting. Why? So this is the hole, and this should be where the A-cell should lie, okay? So after free surgery, people still put it in the wrong position, and you can see on the CAT scan, this is where it is, and this is where the A-cell should be. So I think that this patient is lucky in a way because he is still unstable, so he doesn't play a lot of sports. Now, unfortunately, many people are like this. This is a vertical graph. I would say this is a PL to a high AM graph. So you should think this way now. There are two bundles. So if you want to do a single bundle, you should do somewhere in the middle to somewhere in the middle. Or you want to do AM to AM. But this is a mismatch, mismatch graph. Now, this graph is interesting because it hit, it, it, it's 15 years old. It's my own case. So I'm going to share my dirty laundry with you. Uh, this is how I did all the cell 15 years ago, 10 years ago. PL to AM is a very, very fast way. You put it in the back part, you drew it up. It's very easy, over the top, okay? Now, this graph is interesting. No impingement. You see that? No impingement. Number two is biologically is dark, so it healed really good. And not only that, you can see this is a low angle. So this is a vertical graph. Now, interestingly, this patient actually had no symptoms for 15 years until when she came to see me with some pain. In the examination in the office, she is completely stable. So if you look at her, you think she is an excellent result. But she has pain. So I scope her, and in the OR, she is unstable. Not hot, really gross unstable. A little bit unstable now. I remember when I was a resident, we will always teach any surgery.